Hey guys, this is Dakota, aka Rothgar. I thought it'd be cool to start documenting my processes and exercises that I do in my sketchbook for y'all to see. As a collage artist, one of the funnest processes that I incorporate into my collaging is creating my own textured paper through the process of Xeroxing. If you don't know what Xeroxing is, it's just a fancy way of saying making copies with the copy machine. Here I have an image of some tombstones that I arranged and repeated to give some repetition in Photoshop. I took the image of these tombstones and printed some copies with low contrast and high contrast. Taking these printed images, I repeated the process of scanning and printing until the images had interesting visual texture. In some cases, I scour the internet for interesting patterns like this one here. This image has some very interesting visual effects happening. Some optical lines, geometric angles, it's very interesting. I like using this in some of my collages. This is a Xerox comic book halftone sheet that I found. The different size halftones make for some interesting values. You could also easily create something like this in Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop. This was a colored photograph of waves crashing against rocks that I Xeroxed with a halftone option in the settings of the copier I use. The outcome produced some nice visual texture and value. In my Comic Revolt series, I use vintage comics from the public domain to create graphical collages. During the scavenging process of images, I run into gems like this. This was a background to one of the covers which I scanned and edited in Photoshop. I had to remove characters, letters, and numbers from the cover and then draw in the missing spider threads, which you see here. This is a very nice image that I get to use in my collages. This is an extremely cool texture that I created by crinkling and Xeroxing textured paper I found in Hobby Lobby's sketchbook section. You can see the embossing of the paper to create its unique texture. When I scanned this, I turned the contrast up very high to get rid of any gray, leaving only a black and white image. This is a Xerox of a collage I made using some of the paper I have shown you. The halftones help to create some interesting values, and the optical lines contrast well against the halftone dots, and seem to play a trick on the eyes with the repeating angles. This is the original collage which the Xerox is made from. This collage was done on canvas board that I got from Michael's Craft Store. The process of Xeroxing and photocopying images and paper to create your own unique resources to use in your work is just exciting. Here are the low contrast photocopies of the tombstones that I showed from earlier. This is an example of what you can get when Xeroxing just torn up cardboard. This photocopy has a lot of nice value and grainy texture, which would go good in any collage. I think we are done going through this stack of paper. If any of you would like to see a video of a full process of creating some Xerox textures, comment below. I would like to show you my box of pre-cut scraps featuring some organic textures. These are a mix of textures that I have made through wet and dry brush techniques and painting strokes on different tone paper. Once dry, I take them to get Xerox, creating these nice textures and values. An example of this paper in use can be seen in my mini collages I created on cardstock. For these collages, I used both graphical and organic textures with a grid style layout. In this collage, you can see some of the paper I have shown you. This collage was done on cardboard, and I used a new type of texture I created for monotype printing with bubble wrap. I tore the paper with diagonal lines to give the collage a sense of energy. Two new elements I have created for my collages are typography sheets with different fonts and typefaces. 
This is the one I plan on using for my spooky collage. It has some nice fonts that represent hand-drawn type and scary spooky letters. On this sheet, I have repeated different elements and letters to create unity. I'm hoping when I tear these, some of these letters will repeat in my collage. I have also taken the liberty to print larger sheets to have at my disposal in case I need them. For these collages, I will use my Canson black drawing paper that was gifted to me. In actuality, collages should be done on mixed media paper or thicker. Drawing paper like this will bow, but I would like to use the sketchbook up. I have found a way around the bowing which includes ironing the collage with a thin towel between the two. For my first step, I will glue down a full sheet of texture to get an understanding of the shape I want for my collage. I am using Liquitex matte medium for gluing and a soft bristol brush. Layer by layer you can see me build this collage up in time lapse. As I work, I am actively thinking about composition and the elements of design, such as balance, unity, and rhythm. I am trying to find the best layout for the textures I have, trying to create a unique image that is visually stunning. With my text layers, I am looking at repeating elements and letter forms and hope that I can create even more unity within my composition. There are a lot of interesting shapes and textures happening in these letters and numbers. The hand-painted style that they carry are visually interesting. I tried my best to add as much of this as possible in my collage. I have this Xerox of repeating skulls that I created and I would like to use it to help push the idea of spookiness in my collage. It has some nice textures helping create different values throughout the image. I kind of like this piece of black paper I used here because it looks like a crack or missing piece of my collage. I'm going to repeat this a few more times to see if I can copy it. At this point, I feel that I am done with this exercise. I like the rhythm, unity, and visual interest that this collage has. I think I did a pretty good job giving it a spooky mood and nature with the different elements and textures. And this is something that I think I'm going to keep playing with and just see what I can create. If you enjoyed this video and enjoy the process of collage and printmaking, please like and subscribe. I have many more videos on the way. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys next time.